Joseph, uh, this film is, it, it paints a picture for you of what the documentary, the excellent documentary Man on Wire couldn't do for us, which is actually show us what that must have been like yeah. for Philippe Petit to, to do this walk. I mean, is that part of the reason why you wanted to do this? The first reason why I wanted to do it was because it was Robert Zemeckis asking me to do it. And, you know, he's a filmmaker that I love so much, whether it's Back to the Future or, you know, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Flight, so many movies over the years. Uh, he's such a pinnacle master storyteller. You know, as magnificent as the documentary is, it can't present the actual walk, which is the whole culmination of the whole coup, as, like, as Philippe likes to call it. He's so good at bringing the storytelling with the, 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 the technology that you need to tell a great scale story like this. How did you see that firsthand on set? Well, that's just it. You know, oftentimes when you get a big, grand, visual, spectacular action movie, the story can sort of fall by the wayside. <laughs> Bob once said to be Bob, Mr. Zemeckis. He goes by Bob. <laughs> I'm not just calling him Bob presumptuously. As you uh, go by Joe, right? <laughs> I do, that's right. Uh, one of the, my favorite things that, that Bob said to me was, he said, uh, you know, my, my favorite special effect is, uh, is the close-up. And um, I think what he meant by that is just what you're alluding to, which is no matter how slick or expensive your visual effects are, if the audience doesn't care about the character, the human being in the story, mm -hmm. then visual effects are just visual effects. That's all they are. The World Trade Towers, for someone like me who didn't get to see the two of them together, seeing just one in real life is incredible, but seeing them the way you present them, that awe that inspires me. Where did you begin? What was your start point to get into telling this and building this incredible world? Well, you know, it just it was something that we wanted to do accurately, and we wanted to make sure that you know it was it presented the way it really looked. So, pouring over massive amounts of research and documents and photographs and talking to people and did a lot of research. It's got emotional heart too. I mean, this mm. it's hard not to watch a film like this and be overcome with emotion. Mm -hmm. How did you balance that? You know, you know, I just, I just, I, I all I could do is, is is try not to do any, you know editorializing and present everything as honestly as I possibly could, mainly from the point of view of Philippe and how he felt about everything. You got to work with uh, Philippe. He taught you how to, 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 to walk the wire. But yeah. more than that, I'm, I'm envious that you got to see inside his mind. Yeah. What did you learn from him that, you know, physical st physical skill skills and abilities aside, what did you learn from him? Yeah, it's, it's interesting you say that. And one of the things Philippe actually stressed was that wire walking is more mental than mm -hmm. physical even though it's obviously your body up on the wire. He, he really talked a lot about focus and how if you start thinking, what if I fall? Um, maybe this isn't gonna go right. Maybe I'm not good enough. You're doomed, you will fall. But if you just focus your eyes at the end of the wire and just think I'm going there, then you will. And, and it's really a, a mental game in that way. Now, Joseph took Philippe, everything that he learned from him as, you know, spending time with him and made him his own character, you know, made him his own Philippe, which is, you know, which is what, you know, all great actors do. Um, but the time that he spent with Philippe really gave him an insight into who the man really was. I know you've, you've got quite a lot of experience behind you, but did you pick up anything from him? I mean, how he managed to do something so incredible. Well, yeah, I love Philippe. I love everything that he did. I certainly, this is nothing that I could ever attempt in my life, but I just, you know, I, I, I just admire his, um, his passion and his uh, never, never, you know, relenting and, you know, following his dream no matter, you know, where it was going to take him.